Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh wait, I forgot to put on my face. Hold on. You gotta wait a second. You'll have to wait just a second. It'll only be a second. You can wait that long, right? <clears throat> I believe you can. Her masks are off. My paws are crossed politely while I am waiting for just one second. I like to imagine that after one second you'll switch to Monday 14 Bark with no... With no... Uh... No frames in between. Phone is telling me something. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Hello, everyone. <sighs> it is Saturday, July twenty third, two thousand twenty two, twelve thirty p.m. my time. Nice, perfectly round number there. Welcome Monday, Ellie, Plushie, Ellie, Greedra, Emily, not Ellie, twice. Uh, Plushie, Monday, uh, that's everybody, I think. I smash cut like an SCP, like the Casey for a dream video that makes me scared. <laughs> He is kind of scary. He's kind of cute, but kind of scary. Hello, Button. I am kicking up a fuss. I am destroying objects in the vicinity. No! Stop! No! Ah. Help! I can't stop Emily. No! Hello, Quaff. Hi. Hi. You sound so hyped for Garage, you know? I was super psyched for the game, but at this point, I'm kind of over it. Maybe it'll get cooler, but I mean, this, the whole middle part of the game is like a really sagged for me. I don't know. I was like kind of excited at the beginning, and I was like, wow, there's like some surprisingly normal elements to this game like money and like fishing and like buying upgrades i was like that's kind of cool but then as the game went on that kind of stuff just kind of ended up feeling tedious more than anything i don't know i have peanut m m good work put them in your feed bag Oh, left Davidson. I keep reading Garage as garbage. Is that too off base? I wouldn't say it's garbage. I don't think it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. I just I think that I expected to like it more than I do. So I feel, I don't know, disappointed. But I guess that's on me for having expectations. Um, I'll put them in my grub holster. <laughs> Makes me imagine a holster that has just like one huge like grub. Just a big worm. Grabbage. I will be banned for this. For what? Hmm? Hey Juba. It's kind of funny to see how mostly quaint this, this game is. Yeah, like you look at it. Yeah, you look at it like the the from screenshots. And from the descriptions of the game, and yeah, from its very mysterious status, you're like, this game's gotta be fucking crazy and incomprehensible. And it's kinda like, I don't know, it's it's sort of like a life sim kind of game with like some annoying story progression <laughs> and fishing. It's just so it's sort of strange. I don't know. I don't I don't dislike it by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just kinda I was kind of over it. I was kind of ready for it to, to end. Especially because at this point in the story, pretty much all the dialogue I just can't understand. I don't know. I'm not philosophically minded enough to, uh, to understand. 
Hi, Leica. Wonder how many mechanics they streamlined after hearing the fishing is worse than the original. I mean, it seems like they certainly made it way easier to get money. Because just doing normal stuff in the game unlocks achievements that give you a lot of money. And that speeds up the flow of the game a lot. I don't think the translation is partially to blame because it's very abstract dialogue because of the way that the world is changing and like the way that people are reacting to it. Um, you know, it makes them have more abstract, like, you know, a philosophical kind of like dialogue, but I don't get it. I'm not, I'm just don't get that stuff, you know? I can't understand what it means, so it's just kind of like, I might as well not even read the dialogue, because <laughs> I get nothing out of it. Hello, mage. I'm here for greetings before I start going dwarven mode. What? What is dwarven mode? I'm playing dwarf fortress? I feel like the achievements are there to make you not miss miserable. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with them, honestly. I felt kind of like weird about it at first, but I don't know. I don't feel like forcing you to grind the terrible fishing for an eternity to buy essential upgrades would make this game any better in any way. And I am usually pro like friction in games but not like that just making it tedious for no reason is just not interesting i don't know like grinding the forklift stuff in shenmue i felt like that was that was like good a lot of people don't like that part of the game i thought it was great but you know it's not it's not the same here i am pro oedipus now i am freudian You are Freudian. You are Yannick. I think the translation is good, personally. I like how the game word sound feels. Yeah. I think that- I, I think the translation is good. I can't- I don't know what you mean, Emily, when you say that the translation is to blame, because I think it's fine, really. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't seen a playthrough of the translated, like, original game, the fan-translated one, but... I- don't really have any complaints. May just going to drink ale and mine rocks. Uh, the beer in one hand, the pickaxe in the other. I wonder what will we do after I finish garage? Not asking for suggestions, just thinking out loud. I kind of, I kind of feel like I wanna. I, I kind of feel like playing like a dungeon crawler, but I don't know if those work as stream games. I don't know. <sighs> I kind of feel like playing some kind of RPG or something. <sighs> We haven't played an RPG in so long. What was the last one that we even played? Let me look at the uh, the list. <clears throat> it's RPG season. It's RPG season. Oh no! I opened my page to look at the list of completed games and heard myself. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Um, what was the last RPG that we played? Like, RPG, RPG. I guess technically Overblood, or uh, Brave Fencer Musashi is like an action RPG, but I don't think that. <laughs> that's not what I mean. Um, looks like... Brandish? That's kind of like an action RPG, sort of like Dungeon Crawler. Which is, like, that was last year. That was like a long time ago. That was before even... 
that was apparently right before like Halloween because I remember from like was was waxworks part of the Halloween run I feel like I feel like what kicked off the Halloween era was like Castlevania, Echo Knight, then Seven Mansions, then Alone in the Dark 3, then Siren Blood Curse, Clock Tower 3, and White Day, and then we finished on Uninvited. That was an insane month. Hollow like October last year? Oh my god. Like when I th when I think back on that, that was like a doozy of a time. Is Way of the Samurai 3 postpone? Eh. I don't know. It's kind of dumb. Well, whatever. So someday. I don't know. Why do you want to see that so bad? Monday is sending out her little spores that makes you want to play RPGs. I thought that you said little spoons for a second. Monday is using her little spoon that makes you want to play RPGs. Dropped. What? Nocturne? Oh no. Is that the last? Did we play that after Brandish? I am not going back to Nocturne. That was way too annoying to play on stream. You really bounced off Nocturne, huh? I liked it, and then I got to the point where there was like insanely hard bosses that appeared right in front of save points at random. And I was just kind of like, you know, I I think I'm fu I'm okay. Like I just don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> it's like the the White Riders or like whatever the. I think that's just the filter. Yeah, it's just. I don't know. I like a hard RPG. When when a game starts putting incredibly difficult bosses right in front of save points, that's like that's. That's the line for me. I just can't do that. Oops, I just moved OBS to my other monitor. I was trying to move Discord because I have to have the walkthrough up. Oh. All right, let's get this open. Garage. Oh, no, I have it running in windowed mode. I thought I didn't for some reason. I hove little spoons between my pow beans. Oh. Oh. Here we are, garage. Why is it not showing up? Game capture? Where is it? What? Where? Where are you? Garage. Why why is it not capturing? There you are. Oh my god. Okay. To me, it wouldn't be half the game it is if it wasn't trying to rob you of conveniences and punish you for expecting normalcy. Normalcy. Yeah. I mean, I get it and I I like respect it, but I just don't want to do that. It's like that one store console in Dead Space where a guy is programmed to jump you the second you click off it, but as an entire video game. <laughs> I like mean game design, but I don't know. Alright. So, last time we, we killed like our past or future self, I kind of don't know at this point. And uh, I just found out by looking at the walkthrough, we completely by accident ended up on Juice's route, which um, apparently during the previous chapter, if we went to the Milky Fuel Station with three machines at it, we could have spoken to the one that we had refueled from the most and make her our girlfriend, and then she would be in our normal house. And... Yeah, but instead we ended up on Juice's route by me just completely missing that. Um, so I think that I don't know if that puts us on a route to like a different ending or or what. But so 
let's let's look at our things. We have the key to Lao's room. We got this last time, and I still don't know where Lao's room is. The guide says retrieve the key to Lao's room from Ta Sun's room, then visit Lao. Be insistent and accept to be his guinea pig. I don't know who Lao is. Do you? Does anyone know who Lao is? I don't remember what anyone's fucking names are in this game. So I just don't even know where Lao is. Load game. Get girlfriend. No, I like Juice better. Juice is our girlfriend now. Yeah, she's cool anyway. I like her. Remember seeing that in the walkthrough and thinking Juice's root is so funny, yes. <laughs> the way of Juice. We'll pull up Bottle Trap and get Crab. We get that crab. Alright, so we got this. Now, we still haven't solved the mystery of what opens this door. Does. I feel like I already tried this last time. Is this Lao's room? Or. No. It's not Medici's room. It's not the key for the screen, because we already used that. We already opened Bem's drawer. So, I don't know... I don't know where Lau's room is. Like, I remember Augursley saying that he thought that it was one of the guys at the Ego Clinic, but... I don't know. We do need to refill our ego, so we will do that. How did we get so many stamps, by the way? When did that happen? A Gimnin. Have you come across a character that wants you to put garbage into her? That's Lou. Lou? But Lou, we already met. Lou is the one who wanted us to play music boxes for her, and she already disappeared. Lao Chan, I wish. I wish he was in this game. Character wants to, you to put garbage into her? Like... <sighs> because... Yeah, Lu, Lu was the, the person, yeah, the gender character in the third room here. That was Lu. So... <sighs> Augursley seemed to think that Lao is one of these guys, but I don't know. Like, I know this is Bem, and we apparently have to interact with Bem at some point, but I don't know how. Oh! Hello, Inkuna. Ah, we can interact with him! This, this is my yes. Will you, please, will you... Touch me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll give you this. Receive Doku's rattle. Oh. You dead in there, buddy? Okay. We got Doku's rattle. Now we can interact with this guy, because this is Doku. I remember this is Doku. Don't know how... The sound of die. I like that sound effect. This is good. There's two Dokus. This. We gave to Bem. Our rattle. Yeah. Because, unlike us, Bem looked lonely. What's your name? Who are you? So, you know Tasan. He says he knows Tasan. I see. Oh. So Tasan has gone somewhere. So, Tasan has disappeared. We miss him. We're so sad. Heh. Heh heh. Coo. Coo coo. Heh heh. Coo coo. Heh. Coo coo. Uh, should we go too? Is it about time? Maybe it's time. We don't know who you are, but you are someone we don't know, but thank you for telling us about Tasan. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, we forgot. Here, take this. Receive the key for Lee's drawer. Okay, so that's the key to the drawer at the Milky Fuel Station number two. That is Lee's key. 
long, long time ago, Lee dropped this at the New World, and I found it. I didn't give it back. Because Lee was mean, yeah. You don't seem mean. And you told us about ta -san. Well, then, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. So, everybody in these cells is gone. They all disappeared. Hello, oh, Cerebro. How you doing? Watching Graffy stream in bed feels so indulgent. Why? <laughs> indulgent? You are the Grim Reaper of this world. It's not my fault. I'm just going about my business. Key to Lee's drawer. Liz loves me. Liz wants to be with me. Liz can't live without me. That won't change no matter what I do to her. That won't change no matter how servile I am. That won't change no matter how I look. That's ridiculous. That can't be. That's simply impossible. She'll leave me if I'm no good. She'll leave me if I use violence. She'll leave me if I test her sincerity. That will happen for sure. There's no reason that it won't happen. But why? Why doesn't she hate me? Why does she still love me? Why is she staying with me? I can't believe she brought such useless thing to me. It's just an ordinary stone. Why is she giving it to me so happily? Damn it! Damn it! Damn! You got ordinary stone and Lee's scribble. So, now we have the ordinary stone. We remember talking to uh, the lady in the apartment building. Um, what is it? Under miscellaneous? Yeah, the ordinary stone. It's just a stone. There's Doku's rattle. Um, so the lady at the uh, apartment building, I think I also accidentally opted into a route by saying that like a stone is a good thing or something? I don't know. Happily gives Big Sis an ordinary stone. Thank you. I love rocks. Always happy to have another rock. Even if it's something unwanted. Even if it harms you. Yeah, exactly. I think that this uh, this is the thing that uh, she was talking about. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere now. So let's go talk to her. You have anything to say? So you really found it. Actually, that stone is not just a stone. That stone has a special power. No, it had it. But that stone forgot about itself. That's why it is an ordinary stone now. I didn't mean to keep it from you. I just couldn't believe that such stone really existed. I don't know what that stone has forgotten or how it will remember it. The only thing that's clear is that the thing that the stone has forgotten is something not of this world. Shadows are not the only thing that is connected to the outside world. Dream diaries and core memories are connected to the outside world too. They are the same. Do you know a frog named Wang Shui? Lao once tried to catch it, but even he couldn't catch it. I, but I am sure I heard that frog talk. That voice sounded like it came from the outside world. Maybe he knows the secret of this world unthinkable for us. He may even know what the ordinary stone has forgotten. That's what I thought, but no machine would be able to fish that frog. No one can handle a frog that big and strong. But you're standing, you're starting to make me feel I'm wrong. This is something Yang tried to install to himself when the new world was still operating. You should try out everything. Received a supercharger. It's so sad that Liz was the one who found the ordinary stone and gave it to Lee. There might have been a different end for that couple. Hmm. What? Uh, so we got a supercharger. I wonder if that's one of the things that we need to reach the highest level of power. All right, let me look. Um, got the ordinary stone. Show it to Chivo, Chio and receive the supercharger. Talk to Torlop at his shop and purchase the mechanical fuel injection system. Who is Torlop? Who? Is that the guy who sells parts at the... The shopping center? The biggest, strongest frog. That stone is uranium ore. Oh no. 
Can you play the original Emily music, Graffy? What, the sleepy music? She's not sleepy though, are you? You sleepy? Core memories. Obsolete computer memories. From a forgotten time. The final boss. Oh, here's Torlop's shop. The frog. You can't handle my frogs, Traveler. They're too strong. I got some rare stuff. Have a look at them. Okay. No! No! Ah. <sighs> I did just wake up. I may be a little sleepy. Sleepy, huh? Do we have anything we can sell right now? What do you want to exchange? Anything good? Um... Latina of Dusk. Uh, we can get rid of that. And... Boots Mimic? Sell for two. Uh, this is not going to get us anywhere near enough. Mm, we still have plenty of Mighty Claws we can sell. We're so close. <sighs> Red Mighty Claws, those are worth 10 each. Red Egghead worth 190. Teal Roots Mimic worth 20. Wait, Red Egghead is worth 190? <sighs> Confeto, these are worth 8 each. Musk crabs. We're so close. 50 for demon crab? Great, and that leaves us enough to uh, use the ego station if necessary. Graphi, when are you going to share your sponsorship with Hello Flesh? <laughs> hey, Freya. Well, today I'd like to get, tell you guys about a wonderful opportunity. You can subscribe with Hello Flesh and it will deliver to you several pounds of uncategorized flesh to your door on a monthly basis and you know it's really up to you what you do with it technically this is an illegal gray area but there's been no cases of the authorities cracking down on it just yet okay we got this we got the mechanical fuel injection system I may be a little sleepy. Emily NPC dialogue. A skeleton witch. Do you really need those? What? The crabs? Is there any human meat in that? I don't know. Maybe you maybe you try and find out. It says talk to Guitari after receiving a trinket from your partner, slash gifting her with the golden bracelets to receive his music store score and use it to access the lighthouse first floor to retrieve the collecting pipe chamber. Do we have his score? Yeah, we do. So, Witari's score lets us get into the first floor of the lighthouse. I don't know how long it would have taken me to find that out otherwise. I'm really glad to, that there is any walkthrough, even if it is on Discord, which makes no sense. I, people gotta stop doing that, but... The upgrades? Yeah, apparently. To fish a frog. Um, just stopping by to say hi. Off to work I go. I hope you have an alright day. Hope it goes as well as it can. Because we needed to fish a specific frog, and I think that we can't like actually go to the ending otherwise. As far as uh, the guide seems to suggest. <clears throat> New walkthrough, only available on locked Twitter account. Yeah, I mean, 
that's entirely possible. It starts with the end of the game, and then each new step is a quote retweet. No! Uh, horrible. Alright, here we are in Lighthouse Toof. Go to Lighthouse One. -f. Down. It's also event slash porn account though, so you just have to ignore that stuff. No, this is horrible. <laughs> it's like a nightmare scenario. Cool. Why does Guitari have a score that opens the the first floor of the lighthouse though? So. Reserve tank XL. Bottle trap L. Bottle trap XL. Collecting pipe chamber. My swollen up body is going to burst. I can't let that happen. I have the power to kill myself, but I can't kill myself. I can't kill myself if I burst. I want to kill myself. Please let me kill myself. I don't want to burst. Let me be me. I want to die as they am. Got old memo number 20. And uh, this. Test print 2. Um, nothing else to be gotten here. Ego depleting account. <laughs> Actually, it would be Ufnir if it starts with the start of the game, so you have to click through 500 quote retweets to even begin. Ugh. Developing an obtuse adventure game just to do this. Uh, let's go to Juice. Hello. How are you doing, baby? I can't move anymore. Did you do this to me? Yeah, I think that we already have seen this dialogue. Integrating game stuff into a locked Twitter account sounds awesome. That's so terrifying. <laughs> It'll certainly be interesting. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Now... Now what am I doing? Talking to Vs will make him give you his music score to play for Lou. Okay, so we already did that. Once Lou heard the song, go back to Vs, who will give you his own four valve heads. Okay, so we go talk to Vs. Who is Lau? Is that the evil guy at the, the ego clinic? Milky fuel, I want. You know, I am curious what... Uh, something called milky fuel that comes out of like a machine's breast that is made from I don't know fermenting like crabs and frogs might taste like it's probably it's probably unbelievably foul how could it not be um <sighs> We have a bottle trap XL. I think I'll save that for if we go into the uh, sewage canals. Um, right, we want to go down and then go to the right. wherever we can get them. No, not Bottle Trap XL. Sewage Canal? Is this Infra? Why are you using these Yoshi emotes a lot lately? <laughs> you suddenly started using these like purple Yoshi guys. In my head, it tastes exactly like milk fuel. Delicious powdered food. I've never heard of this. I know Monday will back me up here. It sounds like she's not coming to your rescue. Wait, we can give the test prints. Milk fuel is good. Oh, there she is. Those are from Shoujo. Who's that? 
It's a little noisy out there, isn't it? Everyone seems somewhat nervous. What's happening? I don't feel anything though. Hey, this is the guy. This is the guy who runs the junk shop. I only just made that connection because so many of these guys look kind of similar. I just kind of like did not make the connection that these guys are the same. Fish hook number 100 and bottle trap XL. Thank you, Torlop. She literally did come to my rescue, but go off, Oomphy. It is like if Soylent was good. I always kind of wondered what that stuff tastes like. Do they still make it? Oops, I didn't mean to go here. They are very cute. I wish this was Infra also. I want to be playing Infra right now. I see. Lou said that. I see. Oh. Poor Valve Head. We got stage zero parts and 1500 stamps. Great. So, Vis is gone. Now we go get upgrades. We get upgrades. We're gonna get upgrades. We become strong. Hello, Caladon. Have a good time, all the sibling. I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm kind of, I'm enjoying progressing swiftly in this game right now. Soylent tastes okay. I love that first emote. That is very good. I recently became aware of meal squares. What is that? I'm thinking of some kind of ooze. Is it? I have this vague image in my head of these square shaped like biscuit things that were. I don't remember what. Thinking about it even is making something very strange happen to my brain. I have to stop thinking about that. Meal squares are also tasty, but they cost too much. Oh. Oh. Lembus bread. <laughs> I wish. Honestly, food is good, but if I could just have the option to, like, eat some stuff that just would make me not hungry, and just, like, can eat it in, like, a few seconds and just not have to think about it, that would be great. There's a strange sound outside. Medici. Lou has disappeared. Who do you think you are meddling with my toy? You don't know anything. Who- where is Lau? Where in the fuck is Lau? Because this was Doku. Doko or whatever. Doku. And this was Bem. And Lu is gone. Where is Lao? Who is Lao? Where is that guy? We're supposed to go to Lao. But the guy... <sighs> the guy at the bogey place is called Honda, right? Or are they talking about the guy who is at the third floor of the... This? Hey, eight lives. How are you doing? I'm doing dishes, but enjoying the screen. I'm glad. The square bread shaped biscuits are tickling her neurons. She cannot take it. I mean, it basically felt like something weird was happening to my forehead. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. It's a very strange feeling. We will have to implement the protocol if you fully recover that forbidden memory. Don't worry, I'm not thinking about it anymore. Don't worry. Well, this is Moriwaki, so not this guy. Well, we can install the XL reserve tank, though. Hey, we have 
the highest level of fuel possible. Great. I love food and cooking. The amount I cook is capped by my daily hunger, but I'd love to cook more. I am just- I'm not very good at cooking. And, I mean, it makes so much mess. Like, the mess of cooking is, like, my least favorite part, because... Then you have to clean all that stuff, and... Holding big heavy pans is, like, really painful. Uh, for my hands. Like, for, like, the length of time that you gotta hold them for. To, like, scrub them with a sponge thoroughly. So, I don't know, I'm just try to avoid cooking. Most of the time... Or only, like, cook stuff that isn't gonna leave, like, a big mess or something. The bogey place, yeah, Honda... Honda Motorsports. Hey, Mika, also, didn't greet you. Uh, who in the fuck is Lau? That's the ego clinic. We might as well get our ego filled up while we're here. No, no. Come back. We gotta talk to Gimnin. Hey, Gimnin, my best buddy. You wanna juice me up with that ego? You are drifting in your accord. I wish. Honda Accords are really cool cars. Raffi always want to ride the rotary treatment device, not this time. We use the Ego Chamber. I wonder what the difference is between the two of them. I still am often thinking about how they're like... like we invented a device called Carousel, but there's, no, there's nothing in this world called a Carousel or something. Uh... Alright, so it's not this guy. Is it someone at the factory? I just don't... know. It's not this guy, because this is Mia. It must be at the factory, because I can't think of anybody else who's, like, still existing. I don't think it's anyone in the Seiryu apartments, because I think they all don't want to talk to me. Like, they, are, they all hate me. You use the echo chamber, and it's the translation. I think the Japanese signs say rotary treatment device, huh? Let's see. Go to the lab. Maybe one of these guys is Lao. Could be. Excellent. Juice's ego level is increasing. So you were the original Yang. Please make Juice happier. Please give Juice more support. I'll do whatever I can. I'll do anything if that's what Juice wants. I'll do anything no matter what it is if that's what Juice wants. Because that's what I want. Okay. Young splitting into you and Shun was hardly surprising to me. I never expected such growth from you, because I thought you were both born as something that should be discarded. You were floating in sewage for a long time. Oh yeah, but we already... I think we already saw this. Where in the fuck is Lau? Ugh. I just have no idea where Lao is. Is that like the room that is next to Juice? I don't think there's anyone in this room right here, because I think that's just where either Ayn or Kapo is usually in here. God. It doesn't say on the map, does it, anywhere? I mean, this looks like a very long road that goes out. 
<sighs> Gah. Hi, honey. Do you know where Lao lives? Let's see. Does this open with the key to Lao's room? No. So, who is Lao? And where is his room? Does does anyone know? Where in the fuck is Lao's room? Visit Lao. Be insistent and accept to be his guinea pig. Where? Where? <laughs> why is it so hard? Why why can they not just have like a map or like tell you tell you something like straightforward? How do I search in okay, I wanna search specifically in in English walkthrough Lao. No, not L A E O. Okay. You get the key from Tasan's room after he's gone. But where is Lao's room? Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Why can't you just tell me? Uh... Accessed by descending the Fukuju apartment's elevators. Only accessed through the second floor. What? What? How do you get there? We have never been there. This is the Fukuju Apartments. How in the fuck do you get there? From Seiryu Apartments? Second floor? Ugh. Just trying to understand this map is like causing me pain. It's where you initially get the boat. What? But it's not Lu. We're looking for Lao, not Lu. I don't have the game to enter the Discord and look for it. I'm already looking for it. It's just a matter of it's difficult to find. In Morgrook. I don't think it's a post-game thing because the walkthrough is telling me to go there now. Um, let's go this way. Let's see. Let's go this way. Go to the Seiryu Apartments building because it seems that the apartments are somehow connected to the Fukuju Apartments, but I don't know how. Like, it seems like they are connected through the second floor. Um... I just wish that there weren't so many characters with, like, confusing and similar names in this game. Right. We are on the first floor of the Seiryu Apartments building. We want to go to the second floor, and from there we can somehow get to... Fukuju Apartments? I don't know how. Uh. All right. What? So it's this way to Fukuju Apartments. I'd never even realized that this went to the Fukuju Apartments. I thought this was just like another wing of the Seiryu Apartments. I guess I should have been looking at the text that shows up on screen every time you come over here. Oh my god. I feel so insane. This guy doesn't want to talk to us. Graphy will tilt at 100 years of solitude. What? I heard that Mia-san has woken up. That's wonderful. You think that Mia-san could fix the lift over there so that I can go to the first floor? Over there? So, there's this 
this elevator that we can use to get to the fishing spot that is behind. Wait. I just, I never even registered. I completely forgot this place was even here. What? Ah. Uh. I think we can fish, uh, no, we can't fish Yogan here. Isn't there something we can fish here? Yeah, this is where I think you would fish Crab Eater from. We can also fish Giant Unicorn. Let's try Lancer Crab, Hook 8, Hook 8 or above, and Frog Oil Square Can. Let's try this. See if we can get a unicorn. Fish hook number eight or above. So let's try ten. Lancer crab and frog oil. Frog oil square can, which we don't have any of. So I guess never mind. Is this the mythical quiet spot? This is it. I didn't realize that you could get here because I always saw like the first floor of Fukuju Apartments, there's an there's an elevator there, but it was inaccessible. And I never made the connection that the second floor, Fukuju Apartments, is connected to the Seiryu Apartments, even though it's obvious. I just like never made the the logical connection of these two things. So I never even realized that when we went over here and went down the elevator to this remote spot that we've never had the key for before. Like I just completely writ this out, wrote this out of my memory because I thought this just went to a fishing spot. I, I never imagined that this is the place we were supposed to go. Oh my god. Finally. Oh my god. <sighs> That's on me. Hi Snake Man. Who are you? I'm busy with my research. Go away. I told you I'm busy. Give me a break. You just don't get it, do you? I want nothing to do with others. You don't give up, do you? You and I have nothing to talk about or have in common. Uh, what do you want? Are you willing to be my experimental subject or something? Yes. Experiment on me. Really? I'm working on the ultimate tuning, but... This tuning might be risky. It requires an extremely delicate balance. Are you willing to take the chance? Yes. Alright, that's wonderful, but it can't be done right away. I need to ver verify it theoretically, and we are lacking some parts too. I have made a list of the parts we need. Come to me when you found these parts. No, just don't even give it to me. I've got them. Stop. I have the parts. Oh, so you've got all the parts. Now I can finally see the results of my research. Well then, let's begin. Just fuck me up. Drink the fire stream liquid. I wish. I wish. Bottle trap black. How does it feel? Your ego level and power should be improved drastically. Great, we have max ego, we got bottle trap of black. Do we have any available rewards right now? Bottle trap red. I'm finding all bottle trap winches. And bottle trap green. There's also a bottle trap blue. Ah. We found all types of fish hooks. How do we get bottle trap blue? Told Enusan about mysterious things. Huh. Raise intimacy level 20 times. Had a fight. Okay. Right, so that's I think all of our achievements now. How are you doing? You reminded me of something weird that happened. A little while ago, a machine named Shen came to visit me, but he looks so much like that machine named Young. They were indistinguishable, but that machine said he doesn't know anything about Young. The way he talked about things he talked about were totally different from Young. Was he really not Young? By the way, do you enjoy fishing? Then, do you know a frog called Wang Shui? It is a terribly huge frog. One day I was fishing for parts at the fishing spot in the back of the cabin. I happened to have a sweet hole with me, and I wanted to figure out what I'll be able to catch with it, and I had a very strong fish hook. 
It was used for fishing parts too. Until then, I thought Suiho was the top predator of the aquatic machines, so I never thought a thing like that existed. But I couldn't catch it. Just when I almost got it pulled out of the sewage, I was tugged into the sewage. If Chio didn't save me, I wouldn't be here now. This is the information about Wang Shui. Well, have a try at it if you're interested. Received, Wang Shui. Fishing information. Thank you. How are you doing? Okay, so... We did it. We did it. We have fishing information for Wang Shui. Number 100 or above, bait Suiho. Prefers open space. And he said it was at the, uh, the back of the cabin. There was a reward available in female machines? Oh. Let's see. Oh, you're right. Angel fishing info. Completely overlooked that. Angel. Oh, it needs platina. Damn. Big frog, big frog. Damn. This guy looks cool. Um, what do we need to get Suiho? First, open space. Okay, we need Guitari score. Book 100. Uh, damn, we need one of these. But let's catch a giant crab eater from right outside. Right out here. I don't know if we have the ground bait necessary though. Because I think we need crab butter red label, and I don't know if we even have that. Um, we only have crab butter blue label, so no. Let's see, Suiho Manomurai, sucker, female, long neck. We do, we have caught Manomurai before. Uh, I need to look up what are considered to be open spaces, because it's kind of vague in this game. Um, garage, fishing... Okay, garage fishing info. Steam. Oh my god. Alright, we look at the fishing guide incomplete. Alright, so open spaces are the one in the back of the cabin and the one that is over behind the milky fuel station. So we need to go search. We need crab butter, I think. Crab butter red label to get crab eater. And I think that now we might be able to ask Mia the guy who wouldn't talk for the longest time to fix the elevator so that we can go to that fishing spot from the first floor of the Fukuju apartment building. Because that guy mentioned it, that one guy. So I mean it'll only take like a thousand years to roll over there. One billion years. Roll over there and talk to that guy. <sighs> this way, past the milky fuel station. Oh no, not this guy, the other guy. In the other room. Go up. Yes. Hello. Can you fix the elevator to make things convenient for me? Fukuju Apartments residents asked me to fix the lift on the basement's first floor. Apartments first floor. I haven't moved in a long time. There's something wrong with my motor. Seems like I only have a little oil left, so I need an oil change. At this rate, I won't be able to fish or earn stamps. 
If it's all right with you, could you get me four square cans of frog oil? I feel bad I'm always the one being helped, but thank you. Okay, we'll get you four square cans of frog oil, my man. I'll get that for you. I need to buy some of that myself, so I will get it for you, my friends. We will share. We will get that frog oil. Where do you suppose we get frog oil? Probably at the fishing tackle shop. Or maybe the drugstore. Who knows? Very exciting, running around, getting things. Down, go to the left, hello. Frog, oil, square can, we need like, let's just get like 15 cans. No, that's too much, 10. Great, we can also get crab butter red label. We can use to get crab eaters. Graffy at Walgreens. I like pharmacies. Something about them. Like pharmacy convenience stores. It's like kind of nice in a weird way. I think it's because they're kind of like a grocery store, but they're so much smaller. And the focus is more heavily on like cosmetics and medicine. Um. We're gonna go this way. I hate to be like complaining so much when I'm playing this, but I'm just kind of ready to see the ending at this point, I guess. Let's top of Graffy at Shoppers. What's that? Sloppers. <sighs> this game is optimized to cause complaints, yeah. I do still think it's cool. Just many, many odd decisions made in designing it. The surround of fishing feels extra bleak now that I went the wrong way again. So many people are gone. Yeah. The world is just kind of empty of people for the most part. It's kind of sad. Well, is this the lady that we can tell strange things to? I never thought we could be like this again. I'm so happy. Now that Mia is awake, he's just like he used to be. Hee hee hee. I'm glad she's, she's enjoying herself. Hello. Thanks. Now I'll be able to work smoothly, and I'll be able to fix Fukujo Apartments' lift too. It may take four rounds on the meter, but it'll be a piece of cake. Ugh. Please wait a little bit more. Alright, so we need to wait until... 381, looks like. This game is suburban lifestyle. You are bored and live on bogeys. I mean... Yeah, basically, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about Yang. The only thing I know, uh, we already, we already. Apparently, she has an achievement for telling her about unusual things, but I don't know. I don't know anything about that. All right, let's go to the Seiryu Apartments and go to that quiet fishing spot that's in the back of the uh, Goju Apartments. We're gonna catch some crab eaters that we're gonna use to fish for Suihos, which we're gonna use to fish for Wang Shui. So we have our work cut out for us. Up. Down. Left. Nah. I 
think that the game's creator is just in the Discord for this game. Which is... odd. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, Crab Eater. We have fishing information. Crab Eater. We need Frog Imitator or Demon Crab and Fish Hook 4 to 8 and Crab Butter Red Can. Alright, so 8 is fine. We need Demon Crab. Yeah, Demon Crab. Frog Imitator also apparently works. Let's use Frog Imitator, and we want to use the uh, Crab Butter Red label. Wow, that was super fast. Holy shit. This guy's got quite the life bar. This health bar is insane. Oh my god. Yes! Look at this little freak. Kind of adorable, honestly. Hey, Pancake. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy's main PC and Switch Porter is in the speedrun Discord and sometimes speedruns the game. I wish this was a more common conflict of interest. Do any people act like, oh, you ported the game, so we can't trust you. <laughs> you have insider knowledge. From the logs in the stream panel, I guess we've moved up the frog hierarchy again? Yes. We are making progress. Making things happen. Time to give them a piece of my mind! Ah! Yeah, I saw that. It's strange, isn't it? The wall between the artist and consumer breaking down is a strange thing. Yeah, it's kind of a... Did not happen so much before the internet. <laughs> so used to the model where stuff gets thrown over the wall mysteriously, and now it's like, Join my Discord, and I will tell you all about everything about my new album. That frog is me. I eat crabs. That is Monday. You heard it here, folks. That is her. What? I missed it? Why did I lose the bait? I didn't do anything wrong. This is gonna be... Stinger. Oh no, Mock Root. Mock Root, Leg Root. It's gonna be mock root again. I bet this is gonna be stinger actually. Seems more resilient. Yep. Maybe stinger doesn't appear here. I love that sound. Yeah! Look at this guy's little belly. It's so cute. I eat crab sticks. Not real crab, but delicious. What is that then? If anything, it's good because he doesn't fix shit that it mess up roots and well, if I recall, talk to people about it. That's cool. <laughs> this music track is so good. Yeah, it's just the sound of frogs. Ooh, albino mock root. Look at how pretty. You missed it. You lost the hook. Crab eater. You lost the bait. I want to get at least like five of these guys just in case we need a bunch while we're fishing. 
You missed it. Why does that happen so often? Is that like a bug, maybe? do I have at this point? Probably four or five. You missed it. You lost the bait. You lost the game. What? I was pulling down. With this crab stick, I can control the enormous mechanical beast's army. What is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Remember when the game came up in infra? What are you talking about? The game? Oh yeah, that's right. I already forgot that I even mentioned that. Want another crab eater. More. Mossinger C HK sub. I'm not familiar with this. Good line though. I will post it in Discord. Okay. What was in the server room? Like in the hacker place? Soon, Monday will become the last of the crab eaters. She will wander this world not knowing that there are no more like her. You know, right now, I'm just thinking about this. I don't know why. But it's a good time for being being the kind of person who looks forward to weekly releases of like anime or like manga. Because it's like Chainsaw Man Part 2 just started and Made in Abyss Season 2 just started. So every week on Wednesday, it's like miniature Christmas. Get a new chapter of Chainsaw Man and like I get a new adaptation of Made in Abyss where I can actually tell what's happening because it's like impossible to tell what is happening at any point in the manga. You missed it. Why does it keep saying I missed it when I do hook the thing? It's a good time for people with the ability to look forward to having fun. <laughs> Hello Musui, good morning. Congratulations on your awake. Capture, you missed it. Blink and you might miss it. Little Lenin reference for all you Lenin heads. So there's a number of them around here, I think. Alright, let's look at how many did we get of Crab Eater. Because we need Crab Eater in order to catch. Alright, we got five Crab Eater. And we need, what is it? Fishing information, Suiho. Uh, yeah, we need, wait, Giant Crab Eater. God! Damn it! Alright, so... <sighs> we need to go get more... 
fishing information. God damn it! Wait, we can get sucker female, but we need sucker male as bait for that. God. Why, why does everything have to be so goddamn complicated? Now you enter Tamagotchi side game to raise crab in her to giant. We'll put it in like a aquarium and like experiment with feeding it different kinds of food. Love to wake up to Graffy Garage, pronounced like Gary Garage. Graffy Garage. Can we buy... We can buy Giant Crab Eater. 3k. But then we might end up losing it when we go to catch the Suiho. Do you like to buy Aquarium? 7500 stamps. Ugh. Ooh. Alright, let's go downstairs. I went the wrong way. <sighs> Somehow I feel like we're not going to finish this game today. Because this is just taking so long. Alright. Uh, we need to go talk to Mia. Oh, we could probably stand to fuel up while we're here. 20 stamps. Gas prices are fucking crazy these days. Something about this game is kind of making me want to play Animal Crossing. Though. She will finish the game in two weeks. No, no, no. We finish it this weekend. At the very least. Thanks to you, I'm back to normal. You've done so much for me. Thanks a lot. I fixed the lift at Fukuju apartment. It caused a lot of inconvenience to them, but they'll be able to get around easier. I made Sudo worry so much. I feel miserable. I don't remember building the press machines. I still can't believe it. That's the only thing that has slipped out of my memory. I remember being called to the second floor of the Milky Fuel Station, but... My only job left now is fixing things, but I'm fine with that. There's no need to add anything. I want to give Tsuru some frogs since they're her favorite. If she's happy, I'm happy. But she says she doesn't care about frogs anymore. I have no idea why she's saying that. Do you know why? No. I thought so. I really have no idea. To ask her about frogs? I don't know. This is a life sim. And there's fishing. Yes. That. Feeding crabs and frogs to blathers. Yeah. We're gonna make blathers eat a locust. Oh, you too? I guess this world is full of different machines. Good grief. Hey, lad. Would you like to work for me? Okay. Oh, no. I'm just joking. Watching you made me want to say it. You know, it's boring having nothing to make. By the way, I like making lifts. Don't you think it'd be great if there's a 5-story or 10-story building with many lifts lined up along it? Yeah, that sounds awesome. You do? I'm glad you understand. <laughs> All of the machines that live there have their own lift. Even female machines have their own. Don't you think it's a good idea? Yes. You catch on quickly, don't you? Now, since female machines can, can't move the lift by themselves, instead of having males move it for them, we will operate the lift by using a steam engine. It'll be something. Do you like the idea? Yes. Just as I thought. I knew you'd like it. And this is something I haven't told anyone yet. If we use a steam engine, we'll be able to move sideways too, right? In other words, a sideways moving lift. Huh? Sounds weird. I don't care about the name. Don't you think this idea is outrageous? No. Oh. Oh well, I guess you're not ready for this yet. What? Hey lad, I caught a monomarai today. My fishing spot is not so bad. Tsuru is ignoring me. Did she find out that I went to the Milky Fuel Station again? But there's no way she can find out. Are you worried about something? Worrying won't solve anything. You should act. It can be acting. Anything. Just start acting. If you don't act, you'll just rot away. Alright. 
Let's go back to this. Okay. Don't you think this idea is outrageous? Like, that makes it sound like saying yes is a bad thing. <laughs> that actually does sound awesome. <laughs> Elevator dependent infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I knew you would understand. It goes like this There is a huge building, and each machine has its own lift, and all the lifts are connected by lifts that move sideways, and they all move using steam engines. And the basement is flooded, but it's not flooded with water, it's flooded with mineral oil. Ah, uh, how outrageous. I've come up with such an outrageous idea. I'm a genius. But even if I make such a thing, such thing, there's no one around to use it. How oh, sad. What is the point of making it if no one uses it? Hey lad, I caught a sucker today. My fishing spot is not so bad. Is he saying we can catch Monomorai behind his building? I think that he may be saying that. Let's see. Monomarai. Almost all area. Okay, we can use Crab Eater as bait for Monomarai. So we need Hook 8 and Crab Eater to fish for Monomarai. Why don't we go back here now? Since he said that he caught Monomarai. <sighs> Mineral oil. How? You can put your PC down there for cooling. That still doesn't. This doesn't sound right. You have a fish hook number 100? Yeah. Alright, so let's use fish hook number 8. We want to use crab eater, and that's it. Yeah! Wait, but which Monomurai did we need to catch uh, Suiho? Let me look. Suiho. Just any Monomurai. So we just need any Monomurai. We'll catch a few of them. Whoa! Look at that guy! Handsome. The suburb, but vertical. I'm gonna make like a chamber to put my head in full of mineral oil to cool my brain when I play puzzle games. It'll be like a diving helmet, but with like a respirator on the inside, and the helmet is full of mineral oil. This will be my grand contribution to the 21st century. Ah, oh, you missed it. I thought you meant like a Futurama thing. What? Bait. I think there is a movie where the diving helmet is filled with breathable fluid, really. That's what LCL is like in uh, Evangelion. Which always is like a horrifying thought to me. <laughs> Even though it like works and it just directly supplies oxygen to your blood. The idea of like the moment where the LCL goes into your like your lungs is like it seems like you would be possessed with like the ultimate fear of death. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of fitting. LCL mineral oil blend. <laughs> like the heads in jars in Futurama. Oh yes, I see what you mean though. Same thought. 
We had a mind link. Okay, do you think we have enough now? <sighs> we have how many Monomurai? Seven. That is probably more than enough. And we look at fishing information. We want to catch Suiho, which needs Monomurai, Guitari's score, and hook number 100 at the side fishing spot that is over by the factory. Hopefully we can catch Suiho. Then we can catch Wang Shui, and then we can progress in the plot. Wouldn't that be nice? I would like that. Let's just put a bottle trap black here. Just we'll see what it catches. Can you do some more fishing? Oh, we found all bottle trap winches and got bottle trap red. Well, let's try putting bottle trap red here. Oh, and there's a memo. Oh, we found all old memos. The bear me is swelling up. It's about to burst. I think we got a few chivos that I forgot to uh, to get. Action! We got ground bait, gold, tool. Wow, fifty ground bait, gold. Wow, we we can afford to. Uh, what? Cut Wang Shui. Heard all of Wang Shui's complaints. Cut Inane many times. What? There's crazy achievements in this game. All types of rare frogs. Female machine. I don't think we got anything new here. Alright. So, just to refresh myself, we want to get Suiho, which needs Guitari's score, hook 100, and... Well, we should probably save before we use this. Hey, Spy. I don't know. I guess I'm winning. Bottle trap red label. Caught insane many times. I am catching this every day of my life. No need to even try. It'll just happen. Alright, let's put down bundle trap. Wait, where's the house? I went too far. Ah, damn it. We haven't been back here in a minute. No, not this. Go forwards. Save the game. The plot ha has the plot happened today before I woke up? Not too much. Like we made progress, but I think there was not like a crazy amount of plot as far as I can remember. Maybe I just already forgot it. I don't know. Wait, what did we catch? Bundle trap. Wow, you can catch even frogs and glass crab. 
Let's let's try this. We have tons of, of gold bait now, so let's try that. Why don't we? Let's mimic Lancer Crab. Demon Crab. Denim Crab. Alright. We saved, so we want to use Guitari's score. And what was it? Monomorai and fishing hook number 100. Let's try it. Wow, strong. His health bar is insane. Almost there, come on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, some of the characters who just used to stare at us through the window did talk to us. Now this is a frog. This guy goes, oh. You seem to have caught me. Loaf of bread frog. <laughs> now I see why Cherno hunts frogs. Does she? Ooh, this must be it. This must be it. Look at the health bar. It's fucking massive. Oh, this is gonna be the battle of a lifetime. Yes! Yes! Look at this guy! Incredible! What a beautiful frog! <laughs> Let's catch more if we can. Fat! Big! You lost the hook. No! On. Giant stubby frog. I want another sweet hole, just in case we need more. Because if we go all the way out there and we lose the bait, that's gonna be very annoying, isn't it? No! Ah, that was close. No! Yes, got him. Caught many frogs. Fishing hook number four. She likes hunting frogs and freezing them, what? Seems a little bit sadistic. That was still easier than catching a Godot in the original, really? <laughs> God. Oh, giant crab eater. Look at this guy. What a freak. <laughs> what a freak. He possesses ancient wisdom. His pulsating brain. Here it is. Sweeho. We got him. Holy shit. Ah. Nah. Nah. No. Go down. Yeah! Alright, let's try and just keep fishing until we run out of bait. We'll get giant stummy frog. Exciting. Oh, you missed it. You lost the bait. No! You lost the debate. You were defeated by facts and logic. <laughs> Ilya Tummy Frog, yes. A lot of them are a bit round that way. 
I wonder, will we lose Guitari's score? Whoops. We lost the bait. Alright, we have no more Monomonai. Do we still have Guitari's score? Okay, so we keep that. We can come back here anytime we want and, and search for that again. Um, Alright, so now we need fishing information to catch Wang Shui, which needs Suiho and number 100. So... Oh yeah, we should check the bottle traps, that's right. We were there for a while. Let's see, what do we get? We got a few things. Let's just set a regular bottle trap. Maybe if we set... It seems like the more distant locations tend to have better... better stuff. We got Rusty Frog, pretty cool. Alright, let's go. Let's go. One. Um. Alright, it seems like we should probably save before we go to the next part. Because apparently in chapter 10 you cannot save. So we better, better save in advance. Let's go see Juice, fuel up, and save. And then we'll head out because we are at the we were at the threshold of chapter ten. on the lift that uses all of the fuel. Though, so, now that we have so much fuel, it's not so much of a big deal anymore. Uh, Alright. So, I think that it is... Fishing information... The guy said that it was at... Or... Or... Long Shui? It says prefers open space, but that one guy told us that we should... That we should go to the back of the cabin. I think? Yeah, head to the cabin, fish some Suihos, then fish Long Shui. Alright. So we have to catch we have to catch this fish three times. The hell lift for killing all fuel. <laughs> uh, I always loved that post. It's a trap here. And we got that good music here at the cabin. Hi. You probably know this already, but this one is Young's world. Oh yeah, we already- I think we already know this. We are receiving far more information than we are aware of. The information we are aware of is minuscule compared to it. Why am I able to think- oh yeah. We already- I think we already- <sighs> We already have heard this all. Alright. Fish hook number 100. We want to use Suiho, and that's it. I think this might. Oh my god. We lost the bait? No! It's 
just like not going down. Oh, you have to you have to hold it like way down for it to deplete at all. Holy shit. All right. Yes. <laughs> I got out of bed. You become proud of me. Good job, Emily. Everyone clap for Emily. That was a pretty good sound effect. We're catching a uh, immortal frog. I never thought anyone would catch me. You're unbelievable. What do you want? The only thing I can give you is this. You received the memory of the stone. The memory of the stone was absorbed into the ordinary stone. The ordinary stone? Turned into a resurrection stone. Acquired a resurrection stone. So you had the stone. It is the will to keep dreaming. Do you know what this dream means? This dream is the world itself. In other words, if you have it, you won't fall apart no matter what happens. You'll be freed from the burden of maintaining those stupid ego level and fuel. Wow. Right after we got full ego level and fuel, we don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Um, you might be able to let me think about it for a while. Come again. Caught Wang Shui. Great. Amazing. <laughs> this frog. What do you want? All I have is plot MacGuffin. Where's your howl? This guy looks like shit. <laughs> One day. Uh. God mode. All right, let's catch him again. We have to catch him three times. Remember. Whoa! Whoa! I like how this is like a sentient frog, but he just like can't resist. Can't resist this one frog. This frog is Cranky Kong. He hates video games. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Do you know how doom is caused? By rocks collapsing, by getting engulfed, engulfed by a flood, or by fallen meteorites. But these things are cruel yet beautiful dooms. But there is a most common and hopeless doom that's destroying oneself. Here is a very story of destroying oneself. Are you interested? To me, it is just a well-worn story you can find anywhere, but I'm not the one who decides if it is well-worn or not. Receive the notes written by Yang of the outside world. This story came from the same place the memory of the stone came from. Jeez, what a selfish jerk, using my body without my permission. Come again after you have read this. Oh, we lost the bait. God damn it, now we have to fish a Suiho again. <sighs> well, we did get info. Was it notes written by Yang of the outside world? I let her die. I killed her. I am the one who killed her. Whatever the reason, whatever the course of event, I am the one who killed her. I didn't want her to die. I didn't want to kill her. I wanted her to live. I wish she would come out of the cage and discover the world outside. But my thoughts mean nothing because she is no longer here. At first, I couldn't understand at all why she desired my violence, but now, I think I understand why she had to drive herself into such a dreadful situation. I think she never intended to put herself into a corner. She has accepted as a given that the world is a more dreadful place. That's what the world was to her. The world she wished to live in was far more dreadful. And that was the only world she knew. She had no other choice. It is very possible that seeking violence from me was the only communication means she could choose. A one-way communication, a one-way road, and a vehicle that can only travel in a certain direction on that road. The relationship between a road and a vehicle. The domain able to change is surrounded by the domain not able to change. The melancholy of the road and the melancholy of the vehicle exists there, but the problem is, of course, the melancholy of the vehicle. We should just leave the melancholy of the road be, because the road is also a vehicle and the only true problem, domain that needs to change for the road is its melancholy as a vehicle. 
The only role of the road is in in the road vehicle relationship is to let the vehicle tra travel as smoothly as possible. However, there are people in this world who don't think so, or people who don't want to think so, or who refuse to think so. You can call them any way you want. It's just that there are people who don't make such effort. A vehicle with a broken engine becomes dependent on the sloping road. Stagnant water becomes dependent on the vessel. This is the logic of people who make no such effort, but the fact is there is no vehicle with a broken engine or stagnant water. There are nothing more they are nothing more than slaves created by the sloping road in the vessel. What what? Uh then why do sloping roads and vessels need such slaves? That's simple. The sloping roads and vessels have forgotten that they are also vehicles in water, or they are afraid to admit it. They have become a sloping road or a vessel by escaping from the fear of failure, by seeking security, and by preventing themselves from changing. And the sloping roads and vessels will lose their meaning of existence if there is no vehicle or water. That is ridiculous. No one can escape from being a vehicle or water. Don't just... Don't forget, everyone, you can't escape from being a vehicle or water. Don't even try. Everything is the content as well as the vessel. You can't choose only one of the two. <sighs> First, it approaches me smiling. It raises its hand smiling and surprises me. Its face is facing me, but it is not looking at me. The face is a mask. It is a mask, but it starts moving. The moving mask is made of many worms and makes an incomprehensible sound. I can't move. When I look closer, I see that the whole body of that something wearing a worm mask is also made up of worms. The worms grab my hands and hair and shake me. The world starts to spin and tur everything bursts. Then my surroundings turn pitch black. There is a hole. I go into it, but inside the hole, my arms and legs become heavy and I can't move. It is sloshy and I can't go anywhere because it clings to my body. I can't go anywhere anymore. It is my fault that I can't do that I can't go anywhere. No, it's not my fault. I've done nothing. Then I open my eyes and find the smiling face in front of me again. Tons of worms are smiling. The world spins, bursts, and turns pitch dark. This is repeated again and again. No matter how I struggle, it doesn't change. I can never escape from it. That is my world. That is why I decided to find a deeper hole inside the hole. I'm going to keep going into that hole to find a hole that is not sloshy. Everyone has strange delusions. Most of them are stupid delusions caused by stupid reasons. Maybe all delusions are stupid, but that's not what matters. There is a reason for a reason, and there is a reason for that reason too. What I'm saying is, stupid things are not just stupid. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not saying that every... However, I'm not saying that everything deserves to be justified. I don't mean to say that. Instead, I am talking about the domains that can't be measured by fairness or unjustness. A world where psychophysical law is everything. A world that may not be scientific, but too physical. It's just that the subjects that should be the standard are not encoded yet. No one can escape from this power relationship. Not even me. In fact, I couldn't escape from its power. I started to help her find her deep hole. The reason is simple. She wanted me to help her. At the same time, I opened the gate to my wickedness because I couldn't help her without opening the gate. The quest for her deep hole escalated gradually, and as it has escalated, she was gnawed by anxiety and was worn down more than ever, but she kept telling she kept telling me that we were almost there. And I became unable to distinguish between the guilt and pleasure. It is difficult to say that people can get used to anything, but I think it is possible to become numb. How much more is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You gotta be kidding. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I I can't. I don't understand what any of this. I I don't I I don't have the mind for this kind of text. I just can't understand it. Like this makes it makes no sense to me at all. I just I just don't get it. Uh, I'm feeling for that NPC who said this guy's dream diaries are a pain in the ass. <laughs> you will keep reading until you become numb. Graffy wants this game to just be the mechanics and setting, and I want this game to just be a book. I mean, I would enjoy the text if it was a little bit less opaque. You know, this reminds me of, I have a friend who used to post on her 
Twitter, like excerpts from these like very philosophical books that she was reading, and she would post them as if they were like self-explanatory and like I was like you were supposed to get something out of seeing them and I didn't ever understand a single word of whatever like she would post it was like incomprehensible just like garbled nonsense to me and this is basically like uh exactly the same feeling <laughs> as that this feeling of frustration like I'm supposed to get something out of this but I just can't understand it because I'm I don't know I it's just not I'm not attuned to this kind of writing I guess I don't know and I don't want this game to just be the mechanics because I don't think the mechanics are really that interesting either unfortunately all right, I don't know if the deep hole she wanted is a numb place or not, but I get obsessed with constantly renewing my numbness towards myself. There is only action with no room for empathy. And this action woke up my memories of the past, which I had sealed up. Everybody grows up surrounded by overwhelming violence. Yeah, I mean, that is true. This is a generality. Everyone is raised as a vehicle set on a sloping road. In this process, I tried to fight this reality by using equal violence. It means I was wicked enough from the beginning. But as I grew up, I sealed up my wickedness with absurd things like ethics, honesty, and love. I still don't think I ever had any ethics or honesty, let alone love. I only saw them as something like clouds in the sky. They never belonged to me. And I had many chances to verify this perception, not only for myself, but also for others. Not only for by not only me, but also everyone revealed their true nature so easily. The clouds floating in the sky were nobodies. They belonged to no one. Nobody can become a cloud in the sky. People only wish to have them. People just keep wishing for them. Those clouds never come down to earth. I think those clouds are wishes themselves. <sighs> but I don't believe that everyone is born as a wicked being. Wickedness is only a part of a being, not the whole, or merely a process of a movement. That's what I thought, but I was almost taken over by the wickedness which was only a part of me. This temptation got stronger every time I answered her request. That is how I drifted, away from the clouds floating in the sky, although I never lost sight of them. I frequently imagined me and her switching bodies. It's a wild anim imagination. It was impossible, and there was no point in imagining it. And whether I desire it or not, no, no change will happen. Only physical violence can create change. But what she really wanted was probably not violence, but the result of violence. That is dependence. I know that. There is no identity there, only the possibility of a body able to change. There was one time I felt she and I were sharing her hole. At, the, at that time, I felt for sure that I was in the hole with her. And But I was the one who felt that way, not her. I don't know if she felt she had shared the hole with me or not, but she might have needed me. But what she needed was my violence was my violence not me becoming violence is the only way to be needed by her but even so she says it has to be me i felt like all the world's meanings peeled off from the ground and scattered into the air and i was left on the ground with nothing there was only ground on the ground i was standing on the ground has no meaning and i am the only one standing on it that is probably how i also became a slave to the hole and that hole is different from her hole I probably shouldn't have answered her requests, I shouldn't have opened the gate to my wickedness, but I couldn't imagine myself choosing another path. The two holes will never intersect, they are different holes. By trying to get close to her, I open another hole that will never intersect. A song which entered from the wrong entrance cannot sing, a song which entered from the wrong entrance can only be a at a loss. It is a song that can't be sung. The song that can't be sung will only be repeated in their own place, as she and I were both singing a song that entered from the wrong entrance, a song that can't be sung but in different holes, and the end came abruptly. We didn't reach the end of the path of exploration. We simply failed. Great. I, mean, I just didn't fucking understand any of that. <laughs> Frankish Axeman, welcome. I don't even think it's badly translated. I think it's just written, like... <laughs> it's just written very strangely. This is my favorite part of the game so far, anyway. I mean, I can enjoy abstract writing, but it's just like, I can't extract meaning from this. Hello, Dragonic Dude. Welcome. I don't even know if this is machine translated. <laughs> There's never been a better time to read this. <laughs> It's so funny to read this being like, oh, this is good. The game is good now. And Graffy being like, robot voice. 
It wasn't that abstract. I mean, I am pretty dense. I don't read between the lines easily. So stuff like this, I just don't get it. I just don't understand. Like, I just, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I, I am basically like wax paper with like water just rolling off of it. <laughs> I just can't, I just can't, my, my brain just can't grasp it. Elfrexel, also. Alright, we need to catch another Suiho. Suiho, Alabama. So we need to use Guitari's score, Hook 100, and Giant Crab Eater. I think we have a Giant Crab Eater. So... Hook number 100, Giant Crab Eater, and Guitari's score. Guatari. Water off a duck's back. I think the style is the issue. If it were less repetitive and verbose, it'd work fine, IMO. I mean, it's just, I just, I have, I don't know, I have a hard time reading some stuff like this that isn't like very direct. And I think this is like a problem I have with a lot of communication. Because a lot of the time when people say things to me, I have to ask them to reiterate several times what they mean before I can fully understand. And I feel like that's like very annoying to, to other people because I just don't understand anything very easily when it's not spelled out very, very straightforward. Like I remember when, uh, when I was in school and I had to read academic papers and like academic texts and stuff like for like humanities humanities domain academic texts a lot of it made no sense to me at all it was hopeless i just could not for the life of me understand what it, anything in it meant i basically just had to like bullshit way my way through which like thankfully that is not that hard to do in the humanities for some reason um i don't know i just i it's not for me i guess I don't want to over overly iterate on this, but that's just the way it is. I had the same experience in college. I mean, if you're not attuned to that kind of stuff and you have to read hundreds of pages of it, it I mean, it's very defeating because it you get a lot of reading assigns, and it takes a tremendous amount of time. Just even get through it, because oh, we lost the bait. Great. Uh, do we have anything else that we can catch Suiho with, or do we have to go on a fucking wild goose chase trying to find something? We can catch Monomorai and Long Neck. Do we have Long Neck information? No, but we have Monomorai information, I think. No, we don't even have that. We don't even have that, so great. Now we have to go on a wild goose chase, finding what we need to catch the frog that we need to catch the thing to progress in the game. All right. So apparently, we have Stinger. Stinger and Crab Butter Blue Can. Do we have any Stinger right now? I feel you. I have a really hard time with anything indirect. Yeah, it's it's very difficult because I mean, it just makes it feel hopeless to interact with, with like a lot of people if they are speak abstractly. I don't know, this can feel very frustrating. Alright, do we have... So we have Stinger, and we need Crab Butter Blue Label. You lost.
lost the bait. You know, I hate this fishing. I think that this is like kind of terrible, honestly. So we can search, we can get long neck with crab eater, giant unicorn. Do we have any of those? And monomorai. Do we have any of those? We don't have, we have crab eater. Let's try that. Let us read us Sausure. He is not making bullshits. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Graffy non porous pavement. Academic text didn't make sense to me until I realized they get paid by the word and have to come up with excuses to revise the whole book every year. And it always felt like a lot of stuff in academic texts is like communicated in a very like opaque and indirect way and I don't understand why. Like there's no reason for it. It doesn't make it any easier to understand. Ugh, we lost the bait. You missed it, great. Like how there's just a random chance to completely miss the frog, even if you even if you hook it. We got a monomorai. We can use that to fish for the suiho at least. That is certainly a different kind of academic text. What if? I think this game is pretty much designed for people who like philosophy. Oh, so the opposite of me. Jesus Christ. Are you fucking serious? Uh Just barely didn't make it. You missed it. You lost the hook. Oh, I could have used Monomorai instead of Crab Eater to get more long neck. Alright, we'll use... We'll use Monomorai as the bait. With Crab Butter Blue label. when you just miss it for no reason and you just waste bait that you already had to spend a lot of time catching just fuck me up why does that have to be a mechanic in this game this is like just so fucking stupid and i didn't catch a single one of the frogs that i need <sighs> let's try fishing with 100 and giant crab eater. Which is apparently we can use these to catch sweet ho. Let's just fucking hope. We're probably just gonna arbitrarily use the bait. 18. Hey, thank you, Augursley. 
Thank you for 18 months, Augursley. How are you doing today? I accidentally got someone else to play it. I wonder if they will do the original or Steam. I mean, I would be curious to see what the original version is like, but it also seems like it's even more tedious to play. Stubby frog. I am okay. That's good. You can read Deleu's and Guatari, which are like the most psycho academic texts. I don't think I want to read that. Oh, thank you, Musui, for your resub. Thank you. Thank you. Rhizomes? What? Are we ever going to catch a fucking Suiho? Do I have to go all the way back to that one specific pond in order to catch one? Because like, I this seems like the guide is suggesting you can fish them here. Unless I'm mistaken? Head to the cabin, fish some Suihos, then fish Wang Shui. So this is the place you can catch Suiho. According to the guide, we're just not getting them. This, this gate of all this like busy work of like having to fish frogs to fish more frogs, to fish more frogs, to fish the ultimate frog is like really souring me on this game. I just want to finish playing the game. I just don't really care about sitting and fishing for one specific frog that barely ever shows up so that I can progress in the game. I just don't... I feel like there's just absolutely no purpose to this at all. I guess like the idea is supposed to be, oh, you're spending a lot of time fishing and fishing is like a reflective activity, but I just don't care, man. I just don't care. I just want to see the end of the game. It's probably just not the game for me. Great. Giant stubby frog again. Oh, expedited delivery. Imagine if you still had to go back and refuel during this. I mean, I would probably just quit. <laughs> Can you buy those frogs? No, you can't buy Suiho. We can buy Giant Crab Eater. I think we might be able to buy Monomurai, but they're very expensive. <sighs> and we still have to catch Suiho, like, uh, is the problem. And Suiho does not want to show up. I think if you had to catch it once instead of three times, it would feel much better. Yeah, three times is a bit much, especially when you can lose the bait. The bait that is already hard to get. Mm. You are going to be disappointed by the end of this game. There's no way you will not be. The prize will be like 20 more pages of philosophical texts about humanity. Great. Whoops. I'm starting to think you can't actually catch Suiho here, so we're just gonna go back to the other place. Oh, which is only gonna take us like about a thousand fucking years to get back there. We got Albino Ghetto. That's nice. Isn't it? 
We all like that. Uh, yep. We are going down the long track to the cabin, which is a lot cooler the first time you do it than it is like the 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 ten times you do it after that. Uh, if YouTuber tricked into playing the witness, no way, you can't trick me. I already played that game. Never tricked me into playing that again. I guess we can just go save, just for the hell of it, I guess. I didn't realize that lift was so loud. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. So now we're going somewhere else. Whatever. What am I doing? I, just can't, I can't even remember anymore. Let's go sell some of the stuff that we don't need. Maybe get rid of some of that. ABGN voice. I'm witnessing this game sucks ass. I thought some of the puzzles in The Witness were fun, but, I mean, it was also just like a very deeply annoying game. It's like... Jonathan Blow clearly thinks he is some kind of like super genius guy. And he's, he's just Jonathan Blow. Oh, we can get a lot of money from the giant stubby frogs. No, I think that... We might want to use that to buy some frogs if we really can't catch a sweet hoe with anything else that we have. Can we seriously, like, not run out of fuel anymore? The resurrection stone is sparkling. After playing that game, would you consider yourself a true researcher? What, the witness? <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed The Looker. Yeah, I was kind of enjoying watching uh, Super Great Friend play that. He got- somebody re uh, suggested that for a tryout. And he played that. And at first I was like, oh, it's a parody of The Witness, I get it. But then it was like actually doing more than just like the bare minimum. It was like probably more interesting than The Witness itself. So it's like, oh, oh okay. Did you get the piss ending? I don't know. I can't remember. It's the witness, but instead of that line puzzle phone game being the main content, it's the zombie vampire ghost game. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright, we want fish hook number 100. Maybe we should try fish hook number 100 tunes. Like, what does that do though? We'll try giant crab eater. You lost the bait. Great! Now we don't have any bait to catch the sweet hoe with, so we have to go find some more fucking frogs to fish for sweet hoe in the first place so that we can go swish for fish for Wang Shui. Great! I love it! I just love to have like a tremendous amount of fucking time wasted. Uh... Do you think he made the piss ending because he was ashamed of that Twitter post? 
Yeah. It's entirely possible, I guess. He goes to the bathroom and like paws on it like he doesn't know how to get in. He's never been to the bathroom before. Never got to any ending or writing at all in The Witness. I just walked around and did puzzles and had a blast. Yeah, if you do that, it's fine. I think that the parts that were annoying to me were like... There was like a little voice recorders you could find, and if you click on them, someone comes on and reads like a... Oh, it's like a miraculous, inspirational quote. Like, I went to the space station, and I was up there above everything, looking at the small earth of humanity, and I watched it pass by below me and felt the gulf of humanity or something. It's like, God, shut the fuck up. Like, why did you put this in your game? <laughs> it's so annoying. <sighs> Pretty sure that was a joke about the ending. I thought that the puzzles were fun in The Witness, and I thought that exploring around was fun. That's- I basically have no problem with the core game, it's just like the- the theater where you can watch like- like- like little video like lectures of like somebody explaining some kind of like highfalutin concepts or the- the voice recorders that have like quotes about like Buddhism or something on them. Let's buy frog. So... I think that we we just let's just buy like five monomorais. <laughs> we go catch Suiho. What is the Alan Watts game? I don't know who that is. Graffy will die out of fuel for believing what a frog said. We apparently have infinite fuel now. Even if it goes down, we won't die. Uh, let's go... I guess we might as well just fuel up, even if we don't need to. I went the wrong way. Swish is a mobile payment system. In Sweden, the service was launched in 2012 by six large Swedish banks in cooperation with Bank Giro and the Central Bank of Sweden. It had 7.9 million users as of April 2021. Swish is a member of the European Mobile Payment Systems Association. What? What? Now I'm remembering that one of the only comments that I can remember someone leaving on a YouTube video that wasn't like someone who already watched the stream is just someone replying to a YouTube video that I posted and just said Swish is a dead meme and I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what Swish is or like what meme they're even speaking of. People are very strange online. Alright, Bottle Trap. This game is putting me in a foul mood. I just... I'm really excited to play... Infra after this, and like, have a- like, actually enjoy myself, and like, have a good time, you know? Like, experience, like... Something that makes any sense to me. And it's not just like, completely fucking tedious. You lost the bait. Ugh, great. Will you please go down so that I can actually make progress on whittling down the fishing bar? Thanks. 
frogs. Another frog that we don't fucking need. And hey, I can already tell it's not going to be a Suiho because Suiho has the highest possible health value. So basically, every time that we hook a fish and it doesn't go all the way to the top, there's an instant sense of disappointment because I already know it's not going to be the one that we are trying to catch. So the entire process is just frustrating and irritating. And even if we manage to catch a single Suiho, there's still a good chance that when we go to fish for Wang Shui, it will just lose the bait. It will say, you missed it, and then the bait will be gone. So, we have to catch multiple of them. So it's just, the tedium is like multiplied at pretty much every stage. Just... Drudgery upon drudgery upon drudgery. Over and over, again and again, for eternity. You lost the bait! Let's try... Maybe the albino will be more likely to catch... Suiho. No, it's just stubby frog again. I can already tell because of the health bar. It's just gonna be stubby frog. It's not gonna be Suiho. It would be great if the albino frogs like guaranteed you to get like a higher rarity. Albino long neck? I mean, I guess that can be good. I will stretch and hydrate in a second. Thank you, though, like, Maybe next time you should play, like, Mario Bros. What's the most palate cleanser thing that exists? Kirby Superstar. Minesweeper. I like the Alan Watts game. I don't even know what it is. I've never heard of it in my life. I'll drink water. I have no opinion on it. This is the first time I've ever even heard of it. Great. I already know it's not gonna be Suiho. Great. I love it. I'm not like crazy, right? This is where we fished all the Suihos, and I'm not doing anything different, am I? I've got long neck. Look at this guy. What a cool looking guy. Nah. Oh, we just instantly missed it. There's like a like point one second frame. Or we could have caught something, but no. I think I hate this game. I think this is like the, the straw that broke the camel's back here. Just all this fucking nonsense just to get to the next chapter of the game. Which like, who knows what we're even gonna have to do after we get to the next chapter to complete the game. It is like insane that this is like 10 times more tedious than even the worst parts of like Blue Stinger. You lost the bait. Great, it's another stubby frog or another long neck. Which I don't need or want. So, thanks. 
I think we can use long necks to catch Suiho, but we don't we don't want to. We don't even want to do that. We just want to get Suiho directly. Am I crazy? It's because I wasn't using Guatari's score. Oh my god. There we go. We instantly get one. I am just going to cut my own fucking head off with like lawnmower blades. <sighs> Fuck you. You lost the bait. You missed it. I didn't miss anything. Nothing happened. Nothing happened for me to miss, so I don't know how I missed anything because nothing happened. There was nothing for me to miss, therefore I didn't miss anything. Yeah, same here. You missed it. What did I miss? Nothing. I hooked the frog. Nothing happened. You lost the bait. You lost the bait. Bro, you lost the bait. You were going to lose crab and frog. I can't stand this. Yeah, can you please go down so that I can catch this frog that I don't even want or need? Because it just happened to get hooked while I'm trying to catch the thing that I need to progress in the game. You lost the bait! You lost the bait! There we go. Sweet ho, but it's probably just gonna- you, it's gonna say you missed it. Out of nowhere. Great. I'm gonna catch three, just to be sure. And then, you know, we're just going to switch to Infra and we're going to do Catching the Frog for the third time tomorrow because I just don't... You can't save during Chapter 10 and I just don't want to get locked into a long sequence of this game when I'm already in such a bad mood because it's just going to be obnoxious. I liked our conversation with Mia earlier. We talked to him and he told us about our his vision for a giant building with like a elevator for every machine that lives there. And it's gonna have steam powered horizontal elevators. I don't know how he's gonna make that work, but you know. He can dream about it if he wants. We are gonna catch frogs in infra. <laughs> uh. At least the song you're using as bait shouldn't play should play when it's in use. At least it'd be something different, yeah. Let's try the tune hook. Maybe that'll give us a higher chance of hooking a no. It's just gonna be stubby frog again. It's it's just gonna be stubby frog again. It's just gonna be stubby frog again. It's always gonna be stubby frog. Frog. It is somewhere in the walls. This is already the best track in the games though. No, the best one is the one that plays in the cabin. I think that's by far my favorite. Oh, go down! God damn it, it's just so annoying. The fishing is just so pointless. 
Just every aspect of every mechanic involved in the fishing is just annoying and pointless and just a huge time waster. Great, we caught another Suiho. I'm gonna go save my game. Then we're gonna play Infra and I'm gonna have a good time because like that's a good game? Like imagine that. We can play good games. Like we can play games that are actually like enjoyable. Like, something I can get anything out of. <sighs> we have to maintain our ego level because if we don't we can't talk to anybody. So we still have to do this. Even if we have the resurrection stone. And why wouldn't we want to do this? It's so fun. I still think this is one of the best parts of the game. We ride the carousel. Everyone loves it, don't they? Thank you. Which one is that? I can't remember to hum it for you. Alright. Riding a carousel is the opposite of ego death, yes. Uh, I think it's this, so slot number three. I'm just gonna double save just so that we're absolutely sure. Triple save. Or, no, it would be this one. Well, whatever, I just made two saves. Well, uh, this game has precious little time to get me back on its side and I really don't think it's gonna do anything to redeem itself before the end it could there was some there was some good conversations with the machines today i kind of like talking to doku and that one guy that was in that room and talking to mia that was fine everything about playing this today though made me very unhappy so We'll get back at that tomorrow. I'm just gonna go ahead and open Infra. Then I'm gonna go to the restroom. And then we're gonna play a good game. Imagine that. Playing shit like that almost make you forget that you the good games even exist. I can't believe we spent two and a half hours on that game and we didn't even get out of the chapter. The fabled Lao. If only we could find Lao Chan. Alright, I'm gonna put up the BRB. I'll be right back.
Hello, Declan. You want to catch up without spoilers? Well, uh, spoiler, nothing happened, and I was in a bad mood the entire time, so there's probably no reason to even watch that stream for the VOD. Well, it's time to play, time to play this game. Time to play an enjoyable game. Gotta open Firefox again. Go to twitter.com. Cerebro drew like a lion. Good work, Cerebro. Proud of you. 